values in here represent tracing through our actual uh, short-term field trims plotted against our main volumetric efficiency table. And we can see here, this would be our long-term field trims. So these tables are gonna be used in order for us to go and tune our main VE table. If we actually jumped in, I'm gonna go back into my editor very quickly. Uh, I don't wanna get into too much detail here, but we're gonna be covering this very heavily in other videos. But if we jump into our actual fuel, I'm sorry, our airflow, and our main VE, we can see this is our main VE table. If you pay attention, these are our load axes and KPA, so our load and our engine RPMs up here. This table, we can see all the cell points in here, so each of these would be a cell point. If we jump back into our scanner here, oh, in our scanner, this is gonna represent the same table, and it's gonna be overlaying the difference from our short-term fuel trim onto the table. So this is gonna be telling us effectively that this area here might have to have two or 3% fuel taken out, this might have to have a couple percent of fuel taken out here, and it corresponds to those uh, cell points here on our table. I'm flipping back through the tables really quickly here. That would correspond to maybe something like this area. So we're able to use the data from our sensors, overlay them to be able to tell us what to do in our tables. And we're gonna be going through that process. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do and how to set up these graph templates in future videos so that you can very, very, very quickly and precisely go ahead and populate and tune your math curve or your speed density table and do it accurately.